Hey guys, it's Ethan. Today I wanted to talk about audio latency in Linux because that seems to be a pretty big issue due to Pulse Audio being the default and how Pulse Audio tends to have a bit of latency due to how it's designed. So there is this guide that I followed to get the idea to even start working on this, talking about how you can reduce Pulse Audio's latency for the game Osu through Wine, and I'll be leaving this in the description as well. And the two things that they covered in the video were using a special version of Wine designed for Osu, which, hey, by the way, I packaged that. So if you want to add my overlay, uh, just search up Ethan and IJ overlay. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, it's right here. It's pretty straightforward. It's just an overlay. All it has in it is Open Tablet Driver and Wine Osu so far, but they both work, and I'm always looking for tips to improve it. So let's ignore that for now, though. And the other option was to change some Pulse Audio settings. I believe it's a little bit lower in the guide, right about here. And I followed this guide, and it worked well, but the issue is that it took a big toll on the CPU, and it had really staticky audio. So I decided I'm going to look into Pipewire, because Pipewire is known to be low latency. And that's what I did. So to install Pipewire, you just want to emerge Pipewire. You don't have to uh, recompile any of your software, thankfully, because Pipewire interfaces with Pulse. Or rather, it has a translation layer, kind of similar to Wine, but it's more just redirecting it. So if your software already works with Pulse Audio, then you just need to have Pipewire running, and it'll bring the audio over to Pipewire. No added delay, you'll be fine. So to start Pipewire, you need to, in your X in an RC, set Pipewire to start. And before I had Pulse in here, but of course replacing Pulse with Pipewire. Next thing that you need to do is replace Pulse Audio. And of course I'll link this guide, this uh, wiki page, so you can follow it yourself, but we're going to the OpenRC section, and we need to open up the etc pipewire, pipewire.conf file. So let's go into that right now, and oh, I think I have it open already. Yeah, I do. Here, we'll head over to it. Where did I put it? We'll head over to it right now. We want to go to the context.exec, which is right here. And the two things that need to be uncommented is this line and this line as shown here. And once you're done doing that, you're set. So Pipewire will now take control over Pulse Audio. So once you're done with this, I'm going to recommend that you reboot because if you don't reboot your system, then you'll have some messed up devices and your audio won't work properly. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you reboot at this point. Once you're rebooted, however, to check if Pipewire actually took over, you want to type in PACTL or PA, Pulse Audio CTL. I always read it as PACTL though. And type info. And what this is going to show you is your server name. Specifically, it should say Pulse Audio on Pipewire, whatever version. That's how you know that it's working. So to interface now to change your audio devices or just mess with anything, you can use any Pulse Audio mixing device. So for example, Pulse Mixer, that works. Pavu Control, that works. Anything that you could use on Pulse Audio, you can use with Pipewire, and it works great. Now that we have Pipewire running, I want to talk about how to adjust the latency. So there's two things to adjust latency. First thing is inside of the pipewire.conf, we have the uh, we have the quantum value, and the quantum value, the way that you actually look at it, the way that you like adjust it is actually the min quantum file or min quantum line, and you got to do a little bit of math to find your preferred uh, frequency. So if my clock rate of my headphones is 48,000 and the default clock min is 32, let's do some math. So let's divide 32 by 48,000 and then we're going to multiply that by 1,000. We get 0 0.6 and that's about how much latency in milliseconds we have, 0 0.6 milliseconds of latency. So now let's assume that I want to get less latency. So let's choose a new number, I'll say 4, divide that by the frequency of my headphones, 48,000, multiply that by 1,000, 
0.08. Let's just say I wanted that value to be my new frequency. That's how, or my new latency. That's how much I wanted it to be. We're going to set this value now to 4. I'm going to save the file. And then I would, at this point, kill all pipe wire or however you want to kill it. I think you can also kill it through uh, your like HTOP or whatever. If you just type in pipe wire, you kill these three. Pipe wire, pipe wire media session, and pipe wire pulse. And then after that, you can just run pipe wire again like this. I'm not going to do it here because I would mess the recording up. Then you test it. Does the audio sound good? Yes or no? Keep playing with the values. And the next file that you want to edit is for pulse audio. So, say you have software that isn't native pipe wire, which is, for the most part, most software right now. You have software that isn't native pipe wire. It has to go through a translation layer through pulse. Well, you have the pipewirePulse.conf. And inside of here, inside of the context.modules, you have pulse min request, or I guess that's requirement. I don't actually know. REQ. And pulse min quantum. And the same applies here. The difference is the syntax. This time you type the uh, value, the quantum value, slash the frequency. And the same applies to pulse min quantum. So change both of those, save the file, restart pipe wire. And that works perfectly. And everything should be fine at that point and you should have now low latency audio on Linux. So let me know if that guide was helpful. I'm glad that I discovered this because Pipewire has so far been a great experience, extremely easy to switch from Pulse Audio, and it's only been beneficial. So if this video helped it, helped you with anything, leave it a like if you enjoyed it or anything like that. Leave a comment if there's something I can improve on. You can join my Discord link in the description if you want to be part of my community. And uh, besides that, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.